Hey boo, this is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, Raw Vegan Excuses Edition. Excuse number 30, I can't get control of my mind. As we talked about, it's all about the mind. It's not about the food. It's never been about the food. It will never be about the food. It's about the mind. And some people tell me I can't get control of my mind. It's like something else takes over and it forces me to eat things that I don't want to eat. Have you ever experienced that? Because I have. They tell me it's like a different person. It's like a monster inside of them that is forcing them to eat things that they don't want to eat. If you can relate, then this is the excuse podcast for you. So... How do you get control of this monster, this mind, this force inside of yourself that is sabotaging every single day? As we talked about, there are two voices. One is saying, wait, you're too busy. You're not ready. You need a certification. You need qualifications. You need more time. You need to wait until the kids grow up. You need to wait until you go on vacation. You need to wait until January 1st. You need to... You need to take it easy now. You need, to, you need to make sure that you don't miss work right now because it's a really important time. You need to make sure that the holidays go good and then after the holidays, you need to... That voice is very, very strong and loud because you've been listening to it. You see, the more you do what that voice says, and we all have that voice, take it easy. You, you don't need to do this right now. There's nothing really wrong with you. There's so many healthy people that don't eat raw. This is not the way. This is too extreme. This is too hard. This, is too, this requires too much discipline. If only I could quit my job and the kids were out of the house or I had an au pair or I had a nanny. If only I had more money, I could do this. If only I, you know, that voice is the excuse voice. And that is the voice that I'm writing this book to. And the more you listen to that voice, the stronger and louder and more powerful it gets. You have to start saying no to that voice. You see, when that voice starts to hear the words no and you do things anyway, even though that voice is telling you not to or to do them, For example, you might want to go to the gym every day, but the voice is telling you, we're just really tired right now and it's, it's really bad for your health to work out when you're tired. It's better, you know, it's more important to get good sleep than it is to work out. But the truth is, is that one hour of exercise actually gives you more energy than one hour of sleep. That's the truth. And for every hour that you exercise, you gain three hours of your life. That's the fucking truth. Sleep don't do that. Yeah, sleep is important too. But if I have to choose between a workout and sleep, baby, I'm going to work out every time. I'm walking right now, boo. I'm walking right now and I'm tired. I want to be in bed. So let me just put you onto something, okay? The two voices, they cannot coexist at the same time. They don't like each other. Because when one gets powerful, the other one dies. And so that voice inside of you that's telling you to be strong, that's telling you that you can do this, it died. Every single day that you listen to that fucking motherfucking voice telling you not to do this, not to go raw, not to... Okay, sorry about that. Another friend called to sabotage the movement. But let me just in conclusion say this. Let me wrap this up by saying I am so fucking proud of you that you have decided to go down the path of most resistance because the truth is is that most people will never ever be happy in this lifetime why do you think there's so many overweight and depressed people there's so many addicts alcoholics drug addicts food addicts and that is not because they're happy and celebrating that's because they're miserable and depressed and listening to the wrong voice You can start now and know you're not going to be perfect. You're not going to always make the right decision. But I promise you, you are finally going to get what you want in this life when you stop listening 
to that inner roommate that is ruining everything. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, boo.